Dear Mr. President, Your Excellencies, dear ladies and gentlemen, first, let me thank to the organizers, Professor Stefan Kasha's Foundation for the Support of Science and Education, European Academy of Sciences and Arts, and the Slovak Academy of Sciences for the invitation to this event. As a representative of the Ministry of Labor, Social Affairs and Family of the Slovak Republic, I would like to focus mainly on the social aspect of New Europe in my contributions, since it represents one of the crucial components of European integration. Multiple aspects regarding employment, growth and social issues in Europe have significantly influenced lives and living standards of the citizens in member states and contribute to the formation of their ideas of new and better Europe. In the last decades, Europe has gone through an experienced fundamental social, political and economic changes and has started to face some new social risks. Multiple challenges with different extent and character such as globalization, growth level of unemployment and social consequences of crisis, demographic challenges, aging and increasing number of inhabitants at working age, migration and so on have had significant impact on job market as well as the entire society in general. The goal of European social policy to secure well-functioning and fair job markets, support the system of social security and to preserve the adequate level of social protection, nevertheless, still remain crucial for social cohesion and improving the level of living standards of its citizens. I think we can all agree about the importance of searching for the answers to social challenges of new Europe and the importance of supporting formation of job positions and the inclusive growth in this context. In his recent speech called Report on the State of the European Union 2016 Towards a Better Europe, a Europe that protects, empowers and defends, Jean-Claude Juncker the chair of the European Committee stated that our European Union is at least in part in, it, in an existential crisis. He also mentioned in his analysis that high unemployment and social inequality belong to the main problems that have to be solved urgently. He also emphasized the need for culture which protects the employees and workers within the more and more globalized world. I would like to draw your attention to some main intentions regarding recently presented initiative of the European Committee, the European Pillar of Social Rights. This document, introduced by the Committee in March 2016, which is still in the process of the so-called public consultations of the EU and will be until the end of this year, reflects the main ideas of the Union and builds upon the belief that the economic development should necessarily be reflected in greater social progress and cohesion. It is also necessary to view this document as a reaction to the overall trend of increasing proportion of the European Europeans living in poverty and social exclusion and the growing divergence among the individual member states. It is the ambition of the European pillar of social rights to direct the policy in many areas that are necessary for well-functioning and fair job markets and system of social security. Later, when the European pillar of social rights is adopted at the level of the European Union, it should become the reference framework for the screening of employment and social policy performance of the involved member states and it should keep strengthening the process of social reforms. This initiative also puts emphasis on broad support or an involvement of European and national social partners and efficient social dialogue. Well-designed policies of employment and education are of crucial significance in the process of reducing the level of poverty and social exclusion. And what I would really like to emphasize in this context is a strong dimension of social investment that has been pointed out at the level of EU. New Europe needs new social investments, namely investments into the human capital. The committee also appealed to the member states of the Union a while ago to include social investments which help to improve the social and working potential of people and provide more and more support to their inclusion into society and job market. At the same time, they enhance human skills and capacities, secure better results and generate the return of social policy investments. As a recent EU document called the New Skills Agenda for Europe states, the necessary right skills are the way to employability and prosperity. 
Gaining skills and their improvement and development, including lifelong learning, are necessary for performance and modernization of job markets. As much as 70 million Europeans lack like adequate digital skills these days. More than a half of the 12 million of the long time unemployed are considered to be underqualified. Finally, let me offer a brief overview of the efforts and activities of the Ministry of Labour, Social Affairs and Family of the Slovak Republic in the global context of Slovak Presidency in the Council of Europe. Organization and presentation of events that are focused on agenda of employment, labour, social affairs and the equality of opportunities currently represent one of the most important and most demanding areas and current tasks of our work. In relation to Slovak Presidency, we put emphasis especially on the following areas. Support and development of decent work, new measures to support the employment, fighting poverty and social exclusion, and support of equal treatment and equal opportunities. The Slovak Presidency will endeavor to reach progress in negotiations regarding free movement of workers, coordination of systems of social security and dispatching workers which is a very discussed agenda. We will also focus on measurements for disabled people, support of implementation of measurements for the integration of the Romani and the issues of women and poverty. A very important area in our agenda is the harmonization of work and life. Among multiple activities that we have already taken place during our ongoing presidency, I would like to mention especially the recent informa informal meeting of Ministries of Labour and Social Affairs of EU, so-called EPSCO Council, which took place in Bratislava in July 2016 in Bratislava uh, under the name we face social and technological challenges in the world of labor. At this meeting, the European ministers of labor focused on three main areas, digitalization, demographic changes, and migration. Last of all, let me remind uh, of one important fact. This is surely a good place and appropriate opportunity to publicly thank and to express our gratitude and indebtedness to Professor Stefan Kashai, who, from the position of a chair of the management board of IDC Holding, has provided in enormous support and help in organizing a field work visit of Pechewa Neseret by ministers and EU delegation during the second day of the about nation conference. This modern, highly automated workplace has served as a clear demonstration of the implementation of new technologies into the work process and their influence on the changing requirements related to skills. This new practical approach was highly appreciated by multiple participants of informal EPSCO Council, including the EU Commissioner for Employment, Social Affairs, Skills and Labour Mobility, Marianne Thyssen, during EU negotiations. Thank you for your attention.